Linda Snow Hill. Good on that trip. And why Comical County moving through on 50 from Willage to Pittsville to Parsonsburg. Bypass around Town Good. 50 good to the Bay Bridge. That's your traffic for the Voice Radio Network. Traffic brought to you by Wolf and Meow, a different styling experience for your pet. Located at Victoria's Landing in Long Neck. Contact them at 302-390-5560 or at wolfandmeow.com. Phil Cuzzy. Yes, sir. Is this Bill? It's Bill and Jessica. Good morning. Hi, Phil. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Jessica. How are you? Hey, man. Thank you so much for checking in. We appreciate it. I, I got to tell you right off the bat, uh, I come from a baseball family. My son is heavy in travel baseball, and we love it. I, I just want to start that off, uh, you know, on a good note with you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And Thank you. then your position, uh, you don't even want to know what he does out on the field. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I have a good I have a good rapport with umpires. It's Bill Stop versus it. the ump. <laughs> <laughs> well let me ask you, how many times have you been ejected? Um, next question. <laughs> He would like to okay. use his All Fifth right. Amendment right. Well, listen, I'm, no. I'm driving through the Lincoln Tunnel, so I'm probably going to lose you now. Hey, hey, no, right. No, it's all good. It's all good. No, um, I, I've never been ejected from one of my son's games. I will tell you that. Have I said, have okay. I made comments? Right. Have I made comments? Yes. But... Tell us Tell us the worst name you've been called. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, are we on a tape delay so it can be bleeped? Right, right. We, we got you covered. <laughs> well, 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 look, of course, uh, you know, before we get into yeah. uh, a couple you know, things. Pe- people think, really, uh, funny you say it, pe- people think that w- when there's an ejection, it, it is because they use the magic word, right? And, right. And, and most people think that the magic word starts with the letter F. Right. But really, it, that's not true. The magic word begins with the letter why? Because if they say you, you or your, whatever's following, whatever's coming next is not good, and it's going to most probably get them ejected. Uh, okay. Well, we're big Philly fans uh, down here. Have you ever been, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you have. But you've been doing it for years. Uh, been out there when Bryce Harper has lost it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, and you know what? I, I see the Phillies uh, a lot in spring training nice. because um, th- that's the area that I work. You know, spring training is kind of like uh, you know you only go to a few different stadiums. So Dan Clearwater is one of the places I go. Dunedin, of course, right next door, I, I go, and uh, I, I'll go to Bradenton and I'll go to Tampa. So between nice. those four cities, th- that's that's my spring training schedule. So uh, I nice. do see the Phillies a lot. Nice, nice. Yeah, well, yeah. I've taken. We've gone down there. I've taken my son to a Clearwater game. You know, it's it's, it's really nice down there. Great. Love spring training. Um, real quick though, yeah. uh, before we forget, we we got to uh, you know, promote your ALS uh, event. Give us a rundown on the charity event and tell us all about it. Okay, so it's called the Robert Longo ALS Fund. Uh, our website is wefightals.org. We have our 18th annual uh, event coming up this Wednesday, February 9th. Uh, we have over 100 items that you can go on to our website and, and bid on memorabilia. We will also have a live auction that will uh, take place on Wednesday evening. And you do not have to be in the house in order to bid on some of the great live auction items we have. So we have, you can go to the website and we have a uh, a donation button of fifty dollars to get a live stream. So the event will be live streamed, and then uh, if if someone uh, wanted to, to participate in the live auction, uh, they can do it through the website. Nice, so nice. We're very excited about it. Every year we have a mystery guest. So in the past, because of my my uh, position in baseball, um, we, we've had guests like Joe Torrey. Uh, Bucky Dent. Uh, wow. we, we've had uh, while he was waiting for for a new job, uh, we've had Joe Girardi was one of our mystery guests. Oh wow, um, that's awesome. Know, we, we've that's had nice. uh, Tommy Lasorda. We we've had uh, Bob Costas, Larry Holmes. So it's just been uh, it's it's been great, and 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 people uh, they 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 wonder and they bet who's going to be the mystery guest this year. But I can tell you how excited we are. The mystery guest this year has a piece. I'm not going to call it memorabilia. I'm going to say it's a it's an artifacts of historic 
sports and medical history, and this piece will be donated to the Smithsonian Institution. So uh, MLB Network is going to come and film it. We, we're going to live stream it, and it's going to be very exciting. Very nice, very nice. Again, uh, the Robert Longo ALS Fund 18th Annual Charity Event, wefightals.org. Make sure to go check them out. Support, definitely looking forward to it. That, that's just a great charity, great ch charity, great event that uh, you know, you're behind. Um, real quick, any uh, news or any feeling on the whole MLB uh, lockdown and everything that's going on? The only thing I could tell you is probably what you've already heard is that the owners are going to be meeting tomorrow in Orlando. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, you know. again, uh, as an umpire, I, I don't take sides, but I call what I see, or at least what I think I see. Right. And what I see is that we need baseball. So yes. Oh, absolutely. Sure that, uh, that these guys are going to hammer it out on both sides. And, uh, you know, baseball has always been a healing uh, tool, right? Uh, after the war, after 9-11, yes. now after COVID. So, um, so, so we need baseball. Um, I have my spring training uh, schedule ready to go, and uh, and I, I trust that they're going to hammer it out. Uh, ho hopefully, hopefully, um, and but probably most likely won't start spring training on time, huh? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I'm, I, we haven't heard anything like that. Okay, so I okay. certainly hope that we do. Um, you know, because uh, I, I certainly uh, looking forward to get out of this. This New Jersey weather. Hey, there's only and good, get back to Florida. Yeah, look, there's only uh, you know two big big holidays that we look forward to every year: the uh, preseason opener to football and opening day opening for MLB. Day baseball. There's there's only two <laughs> big holidays that we look forward to every year. So you got to start on time. Come what on. About, yeah, and you don't look forward to Jessica's birthday. <laughs> I don't want to blow her head up any more than it already is. <laughs> hey, Phil Cuzzy, thank you so much for checking in, my man. We appreciate it. Thank and, you. Hey, you're a Jersey guy, thank so you very much. you're a my, Jersey my guy, pleasure. so thank you. Yankees, Mets, or Phillies? Uh, well, you know, um, as I said, uh, you know, I, I grew up a, a New York fan. Okay, um, all right, I figured. You know, the, you guys in South Jersey, that's kind of a different world down there. I, I went to school in Glassboro, so I know what it's like, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you, you guys are kind of – you could really be your own state that down there. Because, <laughs> right. You know, your, your news comes out of Philly. Your teams are out of Philly. And uh, it's a little bit different up here, even though we're only separated by – what is it? Maybe 90 miles? Don't yeah. worry. Hey, Phillies are coming for you this year. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, okay. have, have a good one, my man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good – have a good – Wake up every Thursday morning.